Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. Thank you so much for watching my videos. This video we are going to talk about ship safety officer. This video is the next video in series of videos where you are talking about jobs and responsibilities of onboard seafarers. We have recently seen chief officer and second officer responsibility. Chief officer also looks after a responsibility called ship security officer. There is also a similar role which is called the ship safety officer which is also carried out by chief officer or sometimes the second officer also. As we have seen in the last video where we have talked about jobs and responsibilities of second officer, I thought I will cover the ship safety officer portion also in this video. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please do like the videos if you find any value in them. Share it with others who might also get some information from the video and comment if you want to see more videos of this kind and if you also have any specific topic which you need me to cover. Finally, please do subscribe so that you don't miss my next video as soon as I post them. Let's jump into the video. Ship safety officer. Basically last video we had seen ship security officer who deals with the security aspect of the vessel. In this video, we will look up to this ship safety officer who takes care of or rather he is some kind of a in charge or responsible for the safety of the vessel. The regulations which underlie these requirements are little different. Ship security officer comes from a requirement called the ISPS code which is part of the SOLAS. The ship safety officer is also coming from the SOLAS but from a different regulation called the ISM code. Okay, there are two different codes. Security officer comes from the ISPS code and the safety officer requirement comes from the ISM code. Okay, let's go into the points of responsibilities of the ship safety officer. Before that, I should also tell you that as I mentioned earlier, there are some ships, some companies where the chief officer acts as a ship safety officer and most of the companies, the second officer acts as the ship safety officer. The ship safety officer performs many functions. First responsibility to survey the ship of all potential hazard directly affecting the health and safety of the crew. It is not a single day job, you know, it is not because every day is a new day. Every day there are a lot of new happenings on the ship. There are new jobs being done. There are new tools being used. So the safety officer usually takes rounds and observes the people working so that you know he can always identify a potential hazard directly affecting the health and safety of the crew while the crew or the seafarers on board are performing their duties. So basically he walks around the ship and sees the people chipping, painting, they see, he sees because the, it happens that you know even when you are doing a job it is possible that you might realize the, the hazards which might be associated with what you are doing but a person observing in the with the eye of looking for any lapses immediately can find out or point out any irregularities or any hazards which might be associated with what you are doing yeah ensure compliance with the sms of the ship and its every aspect including the amendments and liaising with company safety representative what is this I SMS? This is the safety management system. Again, this comes from the ISM code. ISM code is SOLAS chapter 9 and ISPS code is cha SOLAS chapter 11. Okay. This uh, ISM code entails a list of requirements, one of which is a document which is called the safety management system of the ship. Okay, which basically entails the enlist the whole list of jobs, responsibilities. The whole safety management systems, work permits, etc., etc., everything is con included in that booklet. Basically, you can you can say it is an operational manual for the ship. Okay, so the basic mantra of SMS is do what you write and record what you do. Okay, this is the plain and simple mantra of the system. So that there is no specific requirement of what needs to be there. But if you put a procedure, ensure you follow the procedure. And once you follow the procedure, record that how you have done the procedure so that it is easier for the auditors to verify if you are following the procedures you are laid out for yourself. Okay, that is the 
safety management system so the safety officer ensures all the personnel are complying to the safety management system of the ship and also there is a safety representative ashore and coordinate with him for all the safety related matters ensure safety measures are maintained when cargo work in progress liaising with port representative with regards to safety again when the ship is at port as i mentioned in the earlier videos also all the seafarers are very busy doing their performing their jobs and it is possible that some seafarer might unknowingly take a shortcut to safety which is not acceptable as per the safety management system of the company hence the safety officer should ensure all the jobs which are being done at port as well with regards to the safety should be done in a safe manner and the safety officer also will coordinate with the safety representative from the port terminal if required to ensure the operations are carried out safely on board the ship pointing out deficiencies in any existing processes measures and bringing out changes in communication to the master basically it not only the physical actions there can be some processes which might need change it is possible that you know the processes mentioned in the safety management system might not concur to all the regulations or it might end up in creating a unsafe act or a hazard by following the procedure hence the safety officer can also point out the changes in procedure if required and inform the master master in turns communicates the same with the company and the the process can be changed the safety management system is always open for change and it is not a fixed document which will be the same throughout the life of the vessel or the company to carry out safety inspection at regular intervals at least once in every 3 months for complete ship okay the safety officer may not have the time and energy to complete the full ship every day because he also has his own duties like if he is a chief officer he has to do cargo watch he has to do bridge watch etc if he is a second officer then he has to keep his bridge watches and do his maintenance etc hence the the safety officer required to complete the whole ship audit or a check for safety once in every 3 months that is not start one day and spend four days five days complete the ship basically do small small parts so that in the span of 3 months you complete the whole ship that that is the idea of telling at least once in every 3 months to complete the ship yeah you take small parts every at regular interval so that in the span of 3 months you complete the whole ship the safety review and you can give recommendation to the master reporting to the master non conformities to the sms including deficiencies again as i mentioned he can point out any process requirements which are not being fulfilled or rather the following the process could lead to a hazardous situation or an unsafe fact then such deficiencies should be identified and informed to the master ensuring the crew always carry the jobs with safety conscious attitude and know the aspects of ims code and relevant health and safety regulations the safety officer ensures that crews are trained well and in regular meetings briefed so that all the seafarers are following the safety precautions required for the job to be carried out as they say it is not enough if you say once the safety requirements are to be drilled down the seafarers minds by repeated information training and pointing out deficiencies so that the seafarers understand the importance of safety and follow it in their work practices to look look after and act on the complaints of the crew related to health and safety it is also possible that not only the safety officer can detect deficiencies see flaws in the process but also any seafarer on board can detect the same if there is something some deficiency is reported to the safety officer then he takes due notice of the same and investigates the deficiency and reports to the master regarding the same for improvement in the processes if there is an accident involved a safe ship safety officer will lead the investigation and prepare a report in case there is an accident on board unfortunately then the safety officer takes the lead and does a internal investigation and submits the report to the master with regards to the root cause of the accident and how the same can be prevented in the future maintain a record of all accidents involving 
death, major or serious injuries and every dangerous occurrence and make it available to any selected safety representative to the master and to any investigating government officials. Keep a safety record of the ship. All the accidents, incidents, near misses, all the records are maintained by the safety officer and it is also sent in a monthly report to the company. The meeting conducted every month that is called the SHE committee that is the safety health environmental committee meeting also is a good way where the safety officer discusses safety matters with the crew members to ensure the whole ship operates in a very safe manner. This completes a short video on the safety officer's duty on board a ship and who can be nominated as a safety officer and what are his major functions with related to safety and safe operation of the vessel. I hope you have enjoyed this video and have learned good information about what a safety officer does on board. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please do like the video if you found the content useful. Share this video with your friends and colleagues who might also might be interested in the topic. Comment if you want to see similar videos and you want to suggest more topics where I could make videos. And finally, subscribe to the channel so that you can see my videos as soon as I post them. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.